<laughs> Patrick Oje at MMASucker.com here with AJ McKee. How are you doing today, AJ? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing, I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, you're up against a former champion and your toughest opponent to date on paper. How are you feeling, you know, now that it's here, you're two days out? I'm great, you know. Um, I've had a lot of fights, a lot of stressful fights, not being prepared. Um, this fight, I've been prepared, you know. I've, I've known Pat has yeah. been training since we were originally scheduled to fight in September. So I know he's prepared. He hasn't fought in a couple years. Um, he's a lion. I'm a lion. He, he was a lion who... He, he had a lot to eat. He stepped away, took his break, but he's hungry again, you know. So right now we both got a piece of meat in the middle of that cage, and we're going to see who the better lion is. And you're obviously fighting in enemy territory, so to speak, his, his backyard. Does that, you know, add anything to you, give you some more motivation to kind of spoil the, the homecoming? Um, for me, I'm used to it, you know. I've been to Ireland. I, when I fought in Ireland, I trained for a week, and I was the main event. And I went out there gassed after the first round, second round. Whole crowd screaming, ole, ole, and I'm sitting there laughing in the middle of the round, eye cut open. So for me, you know, it's it's trials and tribulations of life, you know. You go through some, and luckily I've just been blessed to come out victorious every time. So uh, I've had my eyes open a couple times, literally and figuratively. So um, it's just staying prayed up, staying in the gym, and, and doing what I do best, and that's grinding. Now, you're undefeated. You've obviously had all your fights under the Bellator banner. It would be shocking if you don't get the call for that featherweight tournament, regardless of the outcome of Saturday night. Does that diminish anything regarding this fight? Does it take away from the fight, your fact, or the fact you're fighting a former champion? Um, no, not really. You know, for me, I, I like to take it one fight at a time. Um, right now, Pat Kern's the champ in my eyes. He's held that belt. He knows what it feels like. So for me, he's a champion. He's the he's the true champ because he's the one who stepped up to the plate. You know, he honored me with fighting him. You know, he pulled out of the fight. He didn't go fight other people. He came right back in and said, okay, I'm ready to fight AJ. So um, I know he's prepared, and I know this is Pat Curran, hungry and in his, in his, his mind state of ready and, and, and hungry. You know, he's, he's ready. So uh, I'm ready. You know, I've been training. I've been – I've never trained like this, honestly. Um, Pico was my eye-opener for what needs to be done in the gym. He, he was probably one of the hardest workers that's ever came into our gym. And for me, it was motivation, you know. Um, I've last three, four months, five months of my life, I've just been in the gym, you know. My dad's had to say, hey, take a week off. Just kick it. I'm like, all right, a week? Come Wednesday, I'm right back in the gym. So it's, it's a lifestyle, man. I'm literally live living it i'm eating breathing and sleeping it right now and i don't feel anything can stop me right now now you're obviously you know fighting pat but there's there's a lot of talk up here from the press conference and the conference call <laughs> regarding patricio if you get the win especially in spectacular fashion don't take a lot of damage to, to or saturday night are you looking to hopefully get a shot at the belt before the tournament begins i would love that matter of fact i feel i deserve that especially because for me it's not just about the belt, but it's about a family legacy and, and, and taking care of my family. You know, my dad's an ex-fighter. He doesn't work a job. He trains nothing but fighters every day. So for me, being a champion, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring me to another level of pay in this sport. And I'm all about those paychecks, you know. I'm about that goal and that paycheck. So um, Patricio owes me this fight regardless, you know. Um, he fought Emmanuel Sanchez. Emmanuel Sanchez pulled out against me. Henry Corrales pulled out against me. None of, these, none of these guys honored me with the fight after they pulled out when they were the big wig. They were the name. Now I'm 13-0, and 0 and I'm the name, and none of these guys want to fight. They want to fight me now. Now I'm cool with you guys. I want what's mine, and that's that gold belt. I'm breaking records. Everybody wants a shot at my record now. That's what everyone wants, my record. They want to be the first to beat me. But that, with God's planning and God's timing, you know, I just got to keep taking it one fight at, the time, at a time, and if – if he gives me the opportunity to have that belt before the fight, then, hey, it is what it is. If not, I don't mind fighting Patricio first fight in the tournament. And last question for you. How do you see Saturday's match going down? I'm looking, I'm looking to make a statement, like I always say. Do something no one's been done. No one finished John Macapa. Like Pat said, he softened the chin. He dropped him three times, but he didn't knock him out. And Pat hasn't been finished. Patricio couldn't finish him, so I'm looking to finish Pat. All right, thank you so much for your time. Good luck on Saturday. God bless.